Hey everyone, it's Miriam. Today I want to talk to you about a book that I read last year and it was awesome. First off, let me say that I love historical fiction. It's my favorite genre. The book is called The Axeman's Jazz and it's written by Ray Celestin. It's a British author, but the book takes place in the US in New Orleans, around the 1920s. It's a historical fiction book, but it's also a mystery and crime book. It's the story about a true serial killer who really existed in the early 1920s in New Orleans. And he was called the Axeman because he always killed with an axe and leaving behind him some playing cards for the police and the press to find them. The book starts out with the true letter that he wrote to a newspaper. The real awesomeness of this book is that you follow several investigations at a time. In each chapter you alternate between several characters who are each investigating this crime by themselves. This is really awesome because you get to know each side of all the investigations and you can't help but think who is gonna catch the killer first. One other great thing about this book is that you follow a true character that really existed, Louis Armstrong. You get to know him when he was really young and he was just starting in the jazz industry. This book is the first book of a series, and I believe the particularity of this series is that you are going to follow Louis Armstrong in each city that was important to his career. Other thing that I really liked in this book, I love New Orleans. My personal dream is to visit New Orleans one day. I really don't know why, because I love everything that takes place in the south of the US and New Orleans particularly. So yeah, the city was really well described in that book. You get the feeling of the city that is really alive and has a real soul. Overall, I really enjoyed that book. It was a 5 out of 5 stars for me. And I can't recommend it to you enough. So if you love historical fiction and mystery crime books, check it out. I hope you liked that video. See you soon. Bye.